All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 18. In the last episode, Senku and Co invaded the ship to try and stop Magma from being a damn fool. Uh, we got the gun back. Yo has the gun, but he uh, fell overboard, I believe. Yeah, he did feel, fell overboard, I think. Um, he's in the water. Uh, they went down to the lower decks. They managed to revive Hyoga, which is a good good call from Senku. Hopefully we can make that work in the future because that man is still dangerous. It's a good call for him to deal with Moz. Um, however, it seems like Moz is kind of dealing with him at the moment. Uh, then in the kind of second, the later half of the episode, we had um, Ibida kind of revealing how the Medusa works with its whole kind of one meter, one second kind of thing. Um, he, he kind of throws that girl that kind of works underneath him and then in the final part, Hyoga shot him through the hand. Clean shot. Um, and then Ibada dropped the Medusa and now Yo has that as well. So yeah, very good end to the episode there. And I'm looking forward to this one as well. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Come on, Hyoga, get his ass. Let's go. Take this far away. Take this far away. Just in case you can activate it now. Yeah, the view of Magma in his fucking vision. <laughs> As if Senku would ever bow to you. He doesn't know how it works, though. Only we know how it works. Reeks of effort. What, and you're just naturally gifted? He's a genius, bro. Damn, boy. He's a problem. Jesus, even underwater you're this strong? Ah, Hyoga's gotta have a plan. Come on. Oh, what are they making right now? Hello? Oh, his weapon! Oh, the way his weapon spins! Yes, that's what they're making! Nice! Nice! Why are they making multiple? They only need one, don't they? Oh, they need, like, the right width, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, Mecha Senku. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, that was... <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is he going to have Magma chuck it? Come on, Magma. Is that, is that shit just going to slide onto the pole? Nah. <laughs> Whatever. That was epic. <laughs> now watch the shit, Moz. He's got his proper weapon. Oh, that shit looks epic with the gold tip. <laughs> yes, get his ass. Let's go, Yoga. I forgot about his spinning spear. I forgot he was that much of a problem with it. Damn, he even took his armor off. Shit. The human brain. I don't know. Oh, just getting better and better. Training to get better. Something Moz never did because he was born a genius, apparently. Even Senku did that. Senku was very smart from a young age, but he still built up his knowledge. I like that. I like that Hyoka can relate to Senku and the Kingdom of Science in that way. That will help turn him to our side. Can someone help? Yo, I feel like he's going to get snuck up on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's fucking ridiculous. And he swims under so he doesn't get hit by it. No! Oh, that was so annoying. I, Yo heard it though, so he must know how to activate it. Is anybody here with him? Oh my god. <laughs> the force. What the fuck? What? 
Are you gonna swallow it? You, Ugyo, your, your hearing is insane. What? Oh my god, chills. Oh shit. Why did he put it in his mouth though, um, the old guy? I don't get it. Also, where is the Medusa? I don't see it on him. Like, he's not holding it or anything. Unless it's in his fist, I don't know. Does it, it doesn't look like he's holding it. I don't think he has it. But, like, the ignition switch and whatever whatever it is on the Medusa has been lit, though. So how do they stop the, like, forecoming petrification? I don't know. Was he measuring how fast it moves? That's smart. Ooh, good shit, Chrome. It kind of looks like a speed that can be outran, not gonna lie. Come on, Taiju. Get his ass! Take him down! Yes, boy! Where is it? He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Unless he hid it on him somewhere. He did. He made him swallow it. <gasps> it's inside of you, bro. Get it out. No fucking way. How do we avoid this? 2,000 meters. Okay, never mind. You can't outrun that. Jesus. What are we doing? What are we doing? Is he guesstimating in this moment? I think they can outrun it. If they're just a little bit faster. Like someone's got someone with Taiju speed, maybe. Did that did that make it to someone? But the thing is though, Senko can probably use both of these guys. Damn, these, these guys are actually going to be buddies. This is madness. I can't believe this is actually happening. Everybody trusts Senku. What is the plan? What is the plan? Who's left? I don't know if anybody's left in the Kingdom of Science. Bro, that was massive. The thing is, though, what would Ibera do now? His entire workforce is gone. Like, everyone on the island, basically. Yeah, not, not an unlimited amount, though. You don't know how to make it. What were they doing? Why were they doing this? I don't get it. So he was looking at him. Why is he holding... I am confused. What have they done here? Married women with strong memory. Oh, wow. Okay, that makes sense why Sayu's got such a good memory then. Oh, no. She's gonna perish. Fuck. This dude's fingers are so goddamn long. Jesus. Jesus, man. Wait, whose footprints are those? What? They look like kind of small feet. Who would these be? Bro, who is it? Is this Senku? Because they said they had to rely on Senku. Oh my god. How? Senku, how? Why didn't it work? Senku, how are you? How did he survive the petrification? Bro, how? No way, it's the end of the episode. No! Oh my god, Senku, how? Right, so that was Dr. Stone, Season 3, Episode 18. Very good episode. I, I'm gonna love when they explain what they did with, like, how they all lined up and did a different pose. It looked like they were doing the same pose, but then, I like, I looked. Like, some of them were doing this, some of them were doing this, some of them were doing this.
So it must mean something. Like maybe they were like measuring the distance. I don't know though. I don't Senku. I don't know if Senku could have outran the petrification beam. It went very far. Um. Yeah, though I'm, I'm, yeah, I need to know how we did it because he from the from the last time we saw him, it looked like he was very close to the beam. So I don't know what happened. Senku now has to go up against Ibida. He has to use his wits and his intelligence to beat this man. Um, it's interesting that the five meters one second didn't work over the radio. So maybe it's to do with like. I don't know, you have to like be really close to it to say it, or it has to recognize that it's like a human speaking directly to it, not for a radio. I have no idea. Um, some high end technology, though, if that's the case. Overall, though, very excited for this uh, next episode. A very good episode, this one as well. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.